Good evening. It is truly an honor to be here this evening. And on behalf of the Lupus Foundation of America, our board of directors, and our incredible CEO, Sandra Raymond, it is my pleasure to accept the Paul G. Rogers Distinguished Organization Advocacy Award. I have to tell you that this award holds special meaning for our CEO, Sandra, because Paul Rogers was actually the founding chairman of the board of the National Osteoporosis Foundation when they recruited Sandra to lead that organization. And so they worked together for 15 years. So they've come back after, for, after all of this time. And it is really a privilege for me to serve as the medical director for the Lupus Foundation of America because it is a foundation that is so progressive and unwavering in their conviction to change the lives of those living with lupus. If, for those of you that may not know, um, lupus is really a devastating autoimmune disease. Unfortunately, it impacts young women, primarily between the ages of 15 and 45, with minority women being even more impacted uh, by this disease. It's very difficult to diagnose, it's potentially fatal, and there's no cure. So there is no question in my mind that lupus is a major public health problem. But it has been in the shadows for far too long without a lot of recognition and attention. And that's where the Lupus Foundation of America comes in. They have done countless things to bring attention to this disease. I'm only gonna mention a few of them. You heard Pippi say that they stimulated nearly $75 million of federal funding to support lupus research. In addition, they, they partnered with the CDC to do the first of its kind study in the United States just to figure out how many people are living with lupus because it can be so challenging to diagnose. And actually the results of those studies highlighted the disparities in minorities. They also, through advocacy, helped raise $17.5 million to support lupus research through the Department of Defense uh, Medical Research Program. And I just heard sort of uh, fresh, kind of hot off the press this week, that after discussions with the House of Representatives, they actually voted to have lupus research program be a line item in the Department of Defense's budget for medical research, which is incredible. <clears throat> and this is even more meaningful considering how many more women are entering the military and how much more at risk they are for auto, autoimmune diseases. And finally, they have been major advocates and had advocated quite strongly for the 21st Century's Cures Act to accelerate drug discovery. And they've actually coupled with the FDA to sponsor a patient forum on drug development to ensure that our patients have a voice in how we move drug development forward. As a physician who has cared for patients with lupus now my entire career and conducted research in this area, we are making progress. In 2011, we had our first drug approved for lupus after a drought of 50 years of no drugs. Huge land, landmark. And in 2017, we probably understand more than we ever did about what causes lupus, and we now know that there's more than 50 genes that can put people at risk. So we are on the brink of a breakthrough, and we're gonna be relentless in our efforts until we get there. But we share a lot with Research America. You know, we too believe that we have to be advocates for biomedical research, and it should be a national priority. But we need partners, we need the NIH, we need the federal government, we need the CDC, and we need the FDA. And I think together we can realize our vision. So before, um, well, I say the, the real reason that I'm here, and I know all the people at Table 14 uh, from the Lupus Foundation of America are here, are because of people like Ali Gutshaw, who's standing next to me. 
courageous women who live with this disease who are willing to come and tell their story. That's what keeps us focused on our mission, and that's what really makes us want to realize our ultimate goal, which is to have a world with no lupus. So it is my pleasure to turn the podium over to Ali Gutschall. And before I do that, thank you, Research America. We very much appreciate this recognition. It is an, an honor that we do not take lightly. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Manzi. Um, good evening, everyone, and my name is Ali Gutschall, and I'm 24 years old. Um, four years ago, during my senior year of college, I, I was highly involved uh, on campus, high-achieving student, and I planned to join the Peace Corps after graduation. Um, but then a diagnosis of lupus abruptly stopped me in my tracks. I felt that all of my plans uh, for, I had for my future had changed and the career and life I had dreamed about for so long was, was over. I wanted to be a foreign service officer and that was no longer going to happen. I struggled for a year and a half with my symptoms. Um, I had frequent fevers, chronic fatigue, and skin rashes as well as joint pain and swelling so severe I couldn't walk without assistance. But thanks to my doctor and advances in research and new treatments, I finally found what worked for me. I did have to create a new normal for myself and am grateful for the ability to live a full and happy life. I have a full-time job that I love. I'm engaged to be married this November to a man who fell in love with the passion and ambition of the healthy version of myself. And I'm a master's student pursuing my degree of international relations. But lupus... <laughs> But lupus never goes away. It's a battle that is always there with you every day. My experience with lupus has given me a new purpose in life. Because I'm fortunate enough to be healthy and stand with you here tonight, my purpose is now to advocate for others who can't advocate for themselves. I will continue to advocate for additional funding for lupus research so that we can better understand what causes this disease and develop better treatments to help all people with lupus regain their quality of life like I have. I'm so grateful for the continuous and tireless effort of the Lupus Foundation of America and Research America and advocating for this same cause so very near to my heart. From all lupus patients and all people suffering from chronic and life-threatening illnesses, thank you for working always to make medical and health research a higher national priority.